Mastering possessive forms of proper and common nouns. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to tackle an essential aspect of English grammar, the possessive forms of proper and common nouns. In this lesson, we'll explore the rules and usage of these possessive forms, and most importantly, how to use them correctly in sentences. Let's dive right in. To understand possessive forms, we need to know what they do. A possessive form in English is typically used to show ownership or association. We form these by adding an apostrophe, and sometimes an S, at the end of the noun. Example, John's book is on the table. Here, John's, is the possessive form of the proper noun, John, indicating that the book belongs to John. To form the possessive of a proper noun, names of specific people, places, or things, we generally add an apostrophe and an S. For example, if we want to talk about a car that belongs to Mike, we say, this is Mike's car. Important, for proper nouns ending in S, it's acceptable to use either S or just an apostrophe. So, both Charles's bike and Charles's bike are correct. The possessive form of a common noun, general people, places, or things, follows the same rule as proper nouns. We add an apostrophe and an S. For example, if a dog has a toy, we would say, this is the dog's toy. But when dealing with plural common nouns ending in S, we usually add just an apostrophe. The dog's toys are scattered all over the floor. Now, let's focus on using these possessive forms in sentences. Understanding the rules is just the first step. Putting them into practice is where we really learn. Examples. 1. I really like Susan's new hairstyle. Proper noun. 2. The lion's roar could be heard miles away. Common noun. 3. We went to McDonald's for lunch. Possessive form used for companies or stores. 4. The player's performance was outstanding today. Plural noun. Practice constructing your own sentences using these rules. And that's a wrap. We hope this video on the possessive forms of proper and common nouns was helpful for you. As always, practice is key to mastering these rules. Try to form sentences using what you've learned today, and soon, it'll become second nature. See you in our next English grammar journey.